Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 123 residents interpreted this case of appendicitis as one of 65 cases during an 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 1 out of 10 and an overall average score of 4.73 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 5.24. At the same time, 0.02 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the resident. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 42% of residents produce effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be an F or a D. In this most missed case, 58% of residents produce reports with critical errors. A patient who was 29 weeks pregnant presented to the emergency room with an acute onset of right upper quadrant pain, nausea and vomiting, an ultrasound was performed, which was non-diagnostic. A MRI of the pelvis was then ordered and this is the T2 coronal sequence through the lower abdomen and pelvis. This is the right upper quadrant. Here's the inferior margin of the spleen. This is going to be the proximally ascending colon cecal region, hepatic flexure, and this is the left upper quadrant and this is our enlarged uterus compatible with a third trimester pregnancy. We start here, we look at the right upper quadrant. We see that there's a little dark area or area of low signal. That may be an appendicleth. If we go slightly posterior, we see that there is a thickened tubular structure with some wall thickening and some fluid as evidenced by increased T2 signal around this tubular structure. If we go back anteriorly, we can see a nice cross-sectional view of this tubular structure. There's an edematous wall, and we note that this has a blind end, so this would confirm that this is a dilated thickened appendix. There's fluid around there. There's no evidence of an abscess. Incidental note is also made of a single intrauterine pregnancy in a breech presentation. The placenta is posterior. We can see also mild to moderate hydronephrosis in the right kidney and mild hydronephrosis in the left. This is due to pregnancy. A further look can be obtained by looking at the axial T2 images and we can see our dilated appendix, particularly nicely here. We can see a thickened, dilated appendix. Wall is edematous. Fluid is around the appendix. And here we can see the blind end right here. This is a nice view. So we have a patient with a thickened, inflamed appendix with fluid around the appendix in the periappendiceal fat, but no abscess. This is compatible with appendicitis. There's a possible appendicle in the base, which may be potentiating this. And an immediate call was sent to the OBGYN service, which was following this patient. Uh, the patient then went to surgery within the hour. This is a acuity rank, which is urgent. And if the OBGYN service had not been involved, they should be contacted or the emergency room service 